All right, here we go, one more time. My name is Jose Trujillo. I am an artist. And let's get started with this. This is going to be a figure to piece. Hope you guys enjoy this. Very simple look. See? Look at that. We could almost be finished with it. <laughs> The trick to, to the painting is that there is no trick. Uh, people try to find and learn tricks. Uh, there's no trick, guys. The trick to painting is, is your 10,000 hours. Okay, that's all. I wish there was a trick. I, I, I could have learned it, maybe. Uh, the, the, the... You'll paint enough to... To, um, where it might just feel right, you know, but then you have to go beyond that and then start learning new things. And, and as an artist, I believe that, that every stage that you go is about letting go. It's not about adding new, it's not about adding new data, but it's letting go data, letting go of data. So uh, the higher you go, the lighter you have to travel, sort of. Or the further you go, the, the lighter you have to travel. You have to, you have to travel very light. And so some people don't understand why, why I create such min minimalist brushstroke. And it's because I'm, I'm, I'm moving fast, man. You know, can you see I'm moving fast? And so I have to travel light. Because if I don't, I, I can't move fast enough. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm doing lots of works. I create lots of works of art. And so, so if I'm not traveling light, uh, I start thinking about all kinds of stuff that I shouldn't be thinking about. All kinds of stuff. And it's because that happens to a lot of artists. That happened to me for many years. And it's because, it's because you're not having made a decision to travel light. And it is a decision that you make, you know, because you sacrifice some of the stuff. Uh, people tell you you can't paint. That's that's one of the first things you sacrifice. Uh, the opinion of others, right? If that matters to you, uh, you're gonna have a hard time because people people are gonna tell you that you can't paint. Just like they told Jackson Pollock. Most most people didn't know that Jackson Pollock was an an amazing artist, uh, not just because of what he did in the expressionist movement, but uh, but uh, he was a—he was a great. He was—I mean, he—he he was. Yeah, you don't need me to tell you that. You can Google that. He was an amazing artist. And uh, the way—the way he started painting is because he knew he needed to travel light. If you—if you're trying to go further, you have to travel light. That's why Monet did with his uh, impressionism. He knew he had to travel light. That's what Banksy, you know, let's bring it to today. That's what Banksy does. Stencil work, super fast, super simple. Almost any high school kid or, or junior high kid can do it. Why? Because he's, he's there, or I don't know if it's him or her. Or, I don't know who Banksy is, but uh, the group Banksy, okay, I guess let's call it. They have to travel light. You cannot travel light if... If you, if the, the opinions of others matter so much to you, it's almost impossible to travel light. It's counterintuitive.
because you want you're gonna want to satisfy the urge to please others. When I, when I do these paintings, pe people don't know that. People have no idea. I, I used to be a, a portrait artist. I used to be a, a representational portrait artist. That's how, that's how I used to get paid before I started painting this way. And, and if, if you're trying to please others, you, you stay painting a certain way. And if it works for you, if it works for you, you don't have to move, by the way. You know, you don't have to. You don't have to, but you will start traveling light. You're, I don't think you're escaping that. Uh, John Singer Sargent traveled very light. Actually, people thought that his his work of art was very uh, almost manufactured. That it wasn't. It wasn't. They didn't really think he was much of an artist because his brushstroke was his brush economy. Let's call it that, because the fancy pantsy likes to call it that. The fancy fancy artists. His brush economy was was superb. <laughs> That's what people say. Superb. And of course it was because he understood like Velasquez. Velasquez travel light too. Velasquez knew how to do that very well. Goya too. I, I think I think some of the best artists uh, know how to do that. Chagall, Picasso, Matisse. They begin to travel light. You, you can't go to far distances doing the same thing you've been doing over and over. You, you, you have to, at some point, you have to start changing the way that you do it. Jeff Koons travels so light that he has other people paint his work. You know? Otherwise, he can't move fast, right? So he's got to move from artist to architect, right? Almost like actor, architect designer. He's got to move from that, just like uh, Andy Warhol. Because otherwise they can't move. They can't create the work that's in their minds, that's in their, that, that needs to be created. If, if they keep trying to please people, they can't. A true artist cannot please people because if they do, they, they, can, never, they can never move quick enough, big enough quick enough, whatever they need to do. My name is Jose Trujillo. I am an artist. And thank you so much for hanging out, guys. Take care.